Hello ladies and gentlemen, well I've installed Kubuntu 18.04 on my system now and I opted for the minimal system installer which meant I did not have an install of LibreOffice by default and that allowed me to go for a snap based version of LibreOffice instead which uh, has been an interesting experience so let me discuss it a bit further in this video. So I will mention that I have opted for a dark theme on Kubuntu as you can see so the menus are dark in both Qt and GTK based applications and I have a grey mouse cursor. Yeah, Looks good to me so how does it look in LibreOffice? And by the way I will mention the integration and that has worked perfectly fine it's appeared straight away in the menus I did not have to do anything over and above just installing the snap application with the command sudo snap install LibreOffice. Anyway, theming, how does it look? It looks terrible. I have a black and white mouse cursor, I have white menus. So yeah, theming doesn't look too good. At least the icons in the menu bar do look perfectly fine. I think some of those were by the same artist team who did the KDE icons, so yeah, that's a plus. The menus and the mouse cursor, yeah, less so. That is because of the sandboxing feature of snaps that they don't allow access into other areas of the hard drive, or in particular to the files that have the theming style sheets and icon sets. Yeah, that's a bit of a downside, isn't it? On the other hand, what I do get is a much newer version of the application. So at time of recording, I have version 6.04.2. What was the standard version in Ubuntu 18.04? Let me have a look at the package management. So that was 6.0.3. So I am a minor release version higher. What does that get me? I probably should have looked before I did this video, but actually I can't imagine it's a huge lot because I only really use sort of the basic features of LibreOffice. I type up some word type documents, basically for my video notes. Yep. Uh, that's just for video notes, video notes, and and the scripts that I have sometimes written for a few videos. So, yeah. On oh, functionality, of the application is perfectly fine. Yeah, no problems there at all. I notice you don't have to open the correct file type in each specific LibreOffice application. For example, I'm in LibreOffice right at the moment. And I could open an Impress document from here, and it opens up Impress automatically. Here is a presentation I did on snaps a little while back and I suppose the main takeaway of it really is that the update feature, so I'm just trying to find the right page now, uh, so yeah so snaps are updated up to four times a day which is considerably more often than the standard package repositories of Ubuntu and this allows you to gain newer versions of the application without adding extra repositories. Yeah that's a great feature of snaps. Obviously the big downside is the lack of theming. But the integration has been perfectly fine with my system and I could go and type in a certain document I want to open. For example, let's try and open that archive document again. Uh, yeah, archive.odt. Yeah, that's fine. It's opened. It was a bit difficult to tell what the memory usage of LibreOffice was. I'm using 2.6 gig of memory on my system at the moment, but well, at least 500 of that is for KDE desktop. Uh, simple screen recorder has taken up 300, Firefox has taken up 230, so yeah, there's obviously various other applications that I have open which are using considerably more memory than LibreOffice is. So I don't think it's an awful lot really. Perhaps hard drive usage is a little bit higher compared to using the standard dev based packages. So I'm going to continue using LibreOffice as a snap based application a little bit longer. I do think the theming issues will be sorted out at some point soon with snaps, but that issue has already been fixed in the Flatpak based applications, so that is something to bear in mind that perhaps LibreOffice as a Flatpak will look a lot better than LibreOffice as a snap. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.